Hey guys, so I want to do a quick uh, tip. This is not really an advanced thing. This is just something cool that I saw. I found this, uh, this, well, some, one of my guys told me about Cloud App, and I think it's really cool. It allows me to take a screenshot, and it immediately makes it available for me to send to people. So, like, I can take a screenshot of this, and then it's immediately available, and I can just go right to that screenshot in the tab. So, actually, so it's really cool. And then over here, here's the new screenshot. So, it's pretty cool. And it's cool, but what I what I really noticed is on the study here, they've got these cool check boxes inside of the graphic. And I thought this was a really neat way to do these check boxes. So I said, let's let's make that. Let's make that happen. So here's our index page. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to open one of these just so we can see what it looks like as we do this. So what we're going to do is start off with an overall. Let me explain the structure. So we're going to have an overall div, okay? And then you've got uh, an inner div here. Which is going to cont which is going to relatively position contain this absolutely position checkbox, and then a graphic underneath of that. The absolutely position checkbox will be in the top left corner. And ha actually, the trick here is that it has a background color of white, and then a border bottom right radius. Actually, the whole thing can be a border radius. Um, and actually, it does need to be border bottom right in this case, or else it's going to look kind of funny. Uh, and then it just has some space. And that's it. So let's take a look. So we're going to say uh, div uh, class equals image block. So that'll be the main div. And then inside of there we have uh, div class, like I said, the inner. So class equals image block inner. And then we need to have inside of there our checkbox. So div class equals checkbox. And then input type equals checkbox. And then div after actually after that we're gonna have our image, which is we're gonna make an a tag just because image source equals and I'm gonna call it uh, thumb.png, which is already loaded up. There's our a tag. And the a tag we're gonna give a class of image, even though I don't think we use it. Just so you have it though. And then after the a tag, uh, that does our inner block. And then what we need is the text underneath of this. So that's going to be href equals title. And so say this is the title here. And then a and then div class equals date. And we're going to say eight minutes ago. All right, and we're going to give this a class of title. So there's that, and if we take a look at it, we can see all of its beauty. It's actually close to the shape already, so we just need to add some extra style to it. So let's take a look. Uh, we need in the style the tile, style our image block. So image block, which in our case is going to have. And actually, before we do the image block, let's go ahead and do the body. Some general styles. So font family Helvetica. Font size is 12. We don't have to set that. It's already set. All right. So image block. Image block is the main guy. So it's going to have some border. So border is uh, one pixel solid, and I think we'll do a CCC color. So it's a light color. Border radius three pixels, just so we take off the edge a little bit, and we'll do a padding of eight pixels. So to get that space between here and here, we're going to say padding eight pixels. And then it needs to have a width set, so 200 pixels is probably good. We're going to float, we're going to have multiple of these, so we're going to float them left. And then each one, when they're floated, needs to have a margin uh, from each other about 15 pixels. Again, these two are when there's multiple elements of these, so that's what those are for. So the next style that we have to deal with is the, in, with, is the inner, which is image block inner. And inside of there, We'll have, so this is going to hold an absolutely position element, therefore this has to be position relative. This is the parent, the parent has to be relative. And then inside of there we're going to have a margin bottom of about eight, 5 pixels. So then we have our checkbox, so this is like the main point of this, which is position absolute. And then we need to have a Z index of higher than anything else, so we'll just say 2 here. And you have the background of white, that's the next trick. And you have a padding of 2 pixels, that's the next trick. And the next trick is border rate, and I think, and I forget, let me actually check out what they did, because I did border radius, which is wrong, it's border radius right. 
So it's actually, uh, let's see, border, bottom, right radius. So border, bottom, right radius is, uh, let's see, three pixels. Yeah, three pixels. Border, bottom, right radius. Cool. And I think, dash webkit, there we go dash right dash radius three pixels and I think you don't need that I think it just works with CSS3 okay so that's the bottom corner curved right that's the curve we're looking for and the last thing is we need the curve to have an edge so to do that uh, we could add a border but we have to do border right and border bottom so a, a quick fix for that is doing a box shadow instead which allows you to position the box shadow which is one pixel one pixel which is which is the right and left side, or the, sorry, the right and bottom side. And then we're just going to make that RGBA, 0, 0, 0, so black, and then a little bit uh, soft black. So that's that. And so if we take a look at that so far, you can see that we've pretty much already got the effect we're looking for. See how the checkbox is now nicely inside of here? It's actually really cool. So the next thing we want to do is actually do the text. So we'll say dot .title, and that's going to be color pound 477 DAF and then font weight bold and then date dot date of course margin top 8 pixels and font size 11 take a look at that and that looks like crap so dot title needs to have a text decoration none on it take a look looks a little bit better uh, text is still pretty huge so font size 11 pixels and this probably needs to be 10 instead there we go that looks way better and now we can have multiple ones so if we actually copy this and paste it a bunch of times there you go and now we have like this image viewer where you have these really cool checkboxes that are part of the image. So I think it's a really cool effect, really simple. Uh, again, the name of the game is Absolute and Relative Positioning, and then you're just doing this bottom shadow here with a little bit of border and a little bit of padding to give that effect. Hope you enjoy.